haven't really done a five signs you might be insert random sexuality and or gender identity right here in a while so I thought why not do one today in this video I'm going to be talking about five signs you might be gender fluid which is one of the gender identities that I don't think is really as understood or talked about as some of the other ones actually fun fact about me I used to identify as gender fluid before I came out as non-binary for about two or three years so yeah fun fact so let's get into five signs that you might be gender fluid the first sign that you might be gender fluid is your preference in title or pronoun changes honestly this is probably one of the biggest and first signs that you might be gender fluid and a few examples of this are if you have a partner one day being okay with them calling you their boyfriend and the next or within a certain amount of time frame it just doesn't feel as comfy anymore that title just doesn't fit you or it's there's a disconnect from it. Another example of this is being okay with being called your parent's daughter and then at some point wanting to be called their son or their child. And this goes with pronouns as well. So being okay with being called she sometimes or he the others, they them, any other neo pronouns you're okay with. But you're more fluid in how you want to be addressed or because it just doesn't feel comfortable on you all of the time. Could be a sign that you're just Gender fluid. The second sign that you might be gender fluid is you find it really difficult to actually pin down what your gender is. Now to be honest with you I think when questioning your gender or going through a gender awakening it can be really hard sometimes to figure out which label is best for you and it is completely fine and valid to try on different labels or use different labels for yourself while you're figuring yourself out but when you're gender fluid it can be a little bit harder to pin down what your gender is because it's so fluid. Just a reminder, not all gender fluid people experience this. You can have points where you feel very connected to a certain gender for an extended period of time. This is more of a generalization. I just wanted to put that out there. I know not every single gender fluid person has the experience of, oh, one day I feel like this. Oh, the next day I feel like this. There are gender fluid people who do feel connected for extended periods of time. And then you feel like like you finally figured it out and then it changes again. But despite semi-popular representation in media depicting gender fluid people as always being able to tell what their gender is all of the time, a lot of gender fluid people actually have a hard time putting into words which gender they connect to at a certain time. So it could be a sign that you're gender fluid. The third sign on this list is the idea of being read as only a man or only a woman for the rest of your life makes you really uncomfortable and you don't know why. So imagine your life in one year, in five years, in 10 years. Imagine how you want to look. While this can be really difficult, especially for people in the trans, non-binary, non-cis community because of mental health and trauma that goes along with not being a cis person, it's a really important exercise to be able to do so that you can start to envision what you truly want for yourself and how you want to look and how you want to be perceived by the rest of the world and if being seen as only a man or only a woman makes you uncomfortable and you feel restricted by this could be a sign that you're gender fluid the fourth sign that you might be gender fluid is that you have dysphoria well sometimes. So I think this needs to be talked about more in the trans slash non-binary slash non-cis folk communities, but it especially applies to gender fluid people. Having fluctuating dysphoria is 100% completely valid and doesn't make you any less of a non-cis person. Now I keep saying it like this because I know that there are gender fluid folks and other people within the community that don't necessarily identify with the words trans or non-binary. So I just wanted to clear that up. I wanted to be as inclusive as possible because I do know there are people in those communities that don't specifically identify with those two words. So when I've talked to gender fluid people, AKA my roommate Jax, who I will link the video that I have with them right up here if you want to watch another video about being gender fluid on my channel. They've been able to tell me about their experience with dysphoria and what it's like for them not having it all the time or the differences between what their dysphoria feels like when they're having dysphoria 
dysphoria around when they feel like they are attached to manhood or when they're attached to womanhood or when they're attached to neither or both. It's actually very interesting and I love hearing them talk about it even though they don't really talk about it that much because as a non-binary person, I have dysphoria about things that make me perceived as any sort of gender, but they have dysphoria when they specifically want to be seen as one of the genders or none of them or both. So it's really, really cool <laughs> to hear about, honestly. But by no means do you need to have dysphoria to be gender fluid. But if you do have it and it fluxes or changes over time and just isn't stagnant towards one binary or the other, could be a sign that you're gender fluid. And the fifth and final sign that you might be gender fluid is you feel amazing being read as multiple genders. Normally, gender fluid people like to switch up their presentation depending on what they're feeling connected to, which gender they're feeling connected to at that specific time, and you get euphoria from being read as the gender that you feel connected to. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people try to put down our types of communities into you have to suffer and you have to hate your body or have to have dysphoria in order to be in the non-cis community and that's not necessarily the case for me. All of this is about what makes the person feel comfortable and if being seen as gender fluid multiple genders makes you happy fucking do it honestly i feel like we really do need to focus more on the euphoria of everything because that's what it should be about being able to express your most authentic self and being happy and comfortable in your own skin so yeah what if that sort of thing makes you euphoric, might be gender fluid. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what helped you figure out that you're gender fluid or were some signs that you were gender fluid. I would love to hear about it and maybe do more videos on gender fluidity. Thank you again for watching this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.